fans, welcome to this Let's Talk Burnley number 34. And we've got a new signing once more, six signings now. And the latest one is Josh Cullen, a midfielder played for Anderlecht and West Ham United. Uh, he's 26 year old and uh, Burnley have paid £3.5 million pounds for him. Vincent Company hailed the capture of an intelligent midfielder as integral to his bid to bounce the Clariot straight back to the Premier League. His hard working, this is Josh, Josh is hard working and brave player that we give, will give everything for the team and club. And Josh is a very intelligent midfielder who is good on the ball and will help improve our side. That is from the captain or the, the manager, Vincent Company. Also, we've got some sad news today um, that Nathan Collins has signed for Wolverhampton Wanderers for approximately £21 million. So we've lost a good player there, but apparently Josh Collins is another good player for Burnley. That's six new players now. Uh, and also we've still got some of the the ones that were from last season. Uh, Jay Rodriguez. Um, we've got Barnes. Um, Mac Mac McNeil, hopefully. Um, possibly um, Maxwell Corney. We don't know. It's it's a bit up in the air at the moment whether he's going to stay with us. And um, I know that there are clubs that are uh, eager to uh, have him sign, uh, and he's he's valued at seventeen million pounds. So even if we get the seventeen million pounds plus the twenty one million pounds, thirty eight million, can we buy a player that can substitute? For Maxwell Corne, we need somebody up front uh, like Corne, who is an aggressive footballer when he plays attacking football, and he has scored. I'm not sure now. I think it's seven or eight goals in the time that he was with Burnley. So I think Burnley are now looking for an all-out all striker to uh, play up front and take the position of Maxwell Corne alongside Rodriguez, Barnes uh, and McNeil. And I mean, there are rumours that McNeil might go, but uh, that's only rumours. I don't think there's anybody out there who wants to pay. I think somebody mentioned 40 million uh, for McNeil. I don't think as clubs out there ready to pay. Plus, um, McNeil never actually did very well the latter part of the season. He was up and down. His game wasn't, it wasn't top of his game at all. And it showed to the end of the season that um, he just wasn't performing the way he, he could do and should do. Well, uh, I'm very happy to report that Josh Cullen is now a Burnley player. And it looks like uh, Vincent Company is shaping this team into something that he wants to play around with, if you know what I mean. He wants to see what they can do, what positions they're going to go in, what uh, tactical uh, play, play is going to use them uh, against certain teams. And we've got Huddersfield coming up. We've also got Shrewsbury before that. And then they go, they're go. they going to Portugal for six days, I believe it is. A uh, bit disappointed with the result from, uh, against Wolves. 3-0 uh, uh, Burnley lost in a friendly uh, at uh, Wolves uh, training ground. But according to what I've read, the, they had chances. Burnley did have chances to, uh, to score, but unluckily uh, it never happened. I haven't got the match report to say who played well and who didn't play well or who had the chance and who didn't. But um, I think the team is, is getting ready now to start the campaign 
and the first game against Addersfield. So I'm I'm very excited. I'm I'm really looking forward to this day that we're going to play Addersfield away. And apparently, all the tickets have been sold for the Burnley um, fans, and so it's going to be a sellout for the Burnley fans. And uh, I'm sure the atmosphere will be absolutely fantastic because Huddersfield haven't got a manager at the moment. They've got a caretaker manager at the moment. Whether they're going to have somebody in place by the time a kickoff in a couple of weeks' time is, we don't know. But Vincent Company, I'm sure, will spur Burnley on to uh, get the three points and start the campaign off uh, the way we want to carry on. OK because he really wants to get this team back in the Premier League. So let's hope that that is the case, that we are going to make it up to the Premier League for next season, and we'll be back in the top tier. OK, well, that's it for now. All the very best, and up the Clariots. Come on, lads, up the Clariots.